There's four hidden YouTube analytics the biggest YouTubers check that you probably don't. Which are the reasons why their videos always get high click-through rates and perhaps why you struggle to do the same. Knowing how to get clicks on your videos wherever they appear on the YouTube website is an essential skill for fast growth. A huge YouTuber friend of mine with hundreds of thousands of subscribers recently showed me the channel data he checks to get better at this. He told me that when you go into a video's analytics, most YouTubers make the mistake of click and reach and just check in this top level click through rate for your video. But what he does is he scrolls down here and he presses see more so that he can then scroll down and see click through rates for each individual traffic source on that video. Now of all the places viewers can be shown your videos on YouTube, the three main ones are the home page, the suggested panel, and the search results. These are the locations that get us the most views on YouTube, but the problem is you're encountering a different type of viewer in each of those different spaces. One tactic that works for getting clicks in search results wouldn't necessarily get clicks on the homepage. So viewers behavior in each of these three areas, search, suggested, and browse is different and we need a different skill set to get clicks in each of these three spaces. And that's why he told me he goes into this detailed breakdown of traffic source clicks every week to learn how to get better at getting clicks in each of those spaces. So to become a more skilled creator, make sure you're clicking the see more button in the reach tab of your analytics, where you'll find your click through rate data broken down by traffic source. And then you can look at the titles, topics, and thumbnails that have done well on your channel in the past for those traffic sources to learn what you need to do more of in the future to get better at getting clicks in all three of those areas. Huge YouTubers also obsess over how many clicks they get on videos that gets shown to their viewers during end screens. I'll show you how to find that data now by showing you where it is in my own analytics. You just gotta click into advanced mode. And I realized that huge YouTubers were doing this when I signed up to a course recently by YouTuber Eric that's just passed over 10 million subscribers. So now we're in advanced mode for this video. We're gonna click this plus icon here and we're gonna to go to clicks per end screen shown. So what this number means is for all of your viewers that got to the end screen of your video the last 20 seconds, this is how many of them clicked on the video that was shown to them in the end screen. And I learned while taking that course that getting this number as high as possible is so important because those last 20 seconds of a video is the biggest opportunity you have to get someone to watch another one of your videos. I'd never check that number for this channel and I'm desperately trying to get my subscribers back up every month. You'll see here that I'm only getting 333 new subs per month. And I learned from those huge YouTubers that when viewers decide to watch lots of your videos, one after the next, after the next, that's the best chance you have that they're gonna subscribe. So by going to the main analytics page in the advanced tab like this and seeing the analytics for all of your videos, and clicking that plus icon, adding clicks per end screen shown as a column, and then finding the videos that have the highest click-through rate for end screen shown, you're able to study the high click-through rates and see what you were saying, what was being shown on screen, what topics of videos you were linking to to get those high click-through rates and do more of that to become better at getting this number as high as possible in the future. Next up, I recently learned from a huge YouTuber I was lucky enough to get to join my Facebook group that if we don't know exactly why our viewers are watching our existing videos, we have no hope in making videos that get high click-through rates in the future. He told me that viewers are after a very specific thing when they subscribe to your channel originally. And if they don't get that specific thing when they come back to your channel a second and third time, they're never gonna watch your videos again, so you've got no hope of getting a high click-through rate from them. So the data in YouTube analytics that he checks to understand exactly why people are watching his videos is he clicks into the reach tab for his videos, and then he scrolls down to see the content that is suggesting that video. So this list is the earlier videos that your viewers were watching when your video popped up in their suggested feed, which they then went and clicked on and ended up watching your video. And that massive YouTuber I was talking to told me that by understanding exactly which videos his viewers were watching before they got to his video, as well as the video that his viewers ended up watching on his channel, allows him to develop a deep understanding of his viewers' mindset. I've had a few one-hit wonders on this channel that have got hundreds of thousands of views, but I was never able to consistently recreate this magic because I didn't properly understand my viewers because I wasn't digging into my data this way. And you'll see from the video titles that any follow-up success that I ever really had just came from repeating the videos that performed well 
in future years. So digging into your suggested traffic to know where your viewers came from before they landed on your channel is going to give you the best understanding of what videos you can make next that your viewers are interested in seeing that are gonna grow your channel. I'm now checking this suggested data myself regularly for myself and for my clients when I'm doing research for them too. The final thing huge YouTubers do to make sure they're getting higher click-through rates is they make sure they're only learning from the right data. Check this video next where I talk about the wrong data that I repeatedly checked for five years that led to the death of this channel. Make sure you're doing what the big YouTubers are doing and don't make the mistake that I did.